Welcome back to the two. Yasu. It always makes me laugh when people like, people are like, oh, you know, I was really scared of you, like before I knew who you were, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. And then I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, no, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it completely. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I get a little frights as well looking at myself because I am an absolute animal. I know what I look like to the general public. And then people that actually know me, they're like, oh, you're a... P what do the people want? Yeah. Probably a week off from YouTube, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's what the people want. People don't want to feel obligated to view my shit. We're going to give him a juicy chest pump today. Train some chest today. Should I fuck around and try and incline Smith four plates? Okay, I'll do it. Other than that, I don't know. I don't have Mario today. Mario and I moved our appointments to Thursdays. Go on, say it. Say it. Have you shaved your back I Yes! Look at that! Yes! Clean! Shaven! Who did that? Who do you think? Thank you, Jess. <laughs> Clean shaven. So yeah, I've shaved my back. I'm excited to get my hands on you. Because <laughs> <Thursday. laughs> I, I do everything that I can reach. But the funniest thing is, is that like there's a clear like line on my body where like I can't reach. So I'm like, I'm like top deck, but with body hair. Like the front of me is just super white. And then the, the backside of me, oh, I'm top deck, but with body hair. Um, do you have to get the electric clippers yet? Like, did you have to get the electric clippers? It's a head trimmer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give full... Oh, we're videoing here. Yeah, we're videoing. Back to the tube. Back to the... <laughs> I give full... What's the word I'm looking for? Full authority. I give full authority to anybody that watches this YouTube channel. When I die, use my death for clout. Yeah. Go for your life. Take a week off work. Take a month off work. Fuck it. We were best friends. I can write that certificate too. <laughs> Mario, can, <laughs> Mario can write your doctor certificate. Yeah. Drop a comment below, guys. Oh, like, they look the same. No. Do you know who looks more the same? Owen Wilson and Alan DeGeneres look closer. No. Oh, get the camera on. Get the camera on this. No. They look the same. I used no. to get them confused. Yeah, I look the same as Brad Pitt then if they look the same. I used to get, um, I used to get Zac Efron and Channing Tatum quite a lot. <laughs> they are so not alike. Yeah, no, I like that. It genuinely, I like you can't be serious right now. One of your best. You know, there's people that are just going through life and have no clue about anything and they're just happy 24 7 because they don't know any better. I'm so, I just wish I was so dumb. Well, you should, that's, that wasn't a question. That wasn't a question. I'm going <laughs> to remove myself that's from fair. the conversation. Tune in, YouTube. Tune, in bye bye. tune in next week to the Mario and Matt cooking show. Okay, well, I'm learning Greek. Um, and I was like so scared to say the word malaka to my like Greek like yeah. teacher because I thought that she was just gonna like abuse the shit out of me. Yeah. Turns out she was, thought it was funny. Tekani. Tekani is how are you? And then if you want to say how are you to multiple people, it's Tekani si. We got a new videographer. The, this, week's, this week's YouTube video is just everyone holding Mitch's <laughs> camera. That's all it is. Mitch's back one. What? No, I like, it spins. Mitch is back behind the camera. I took some photos of my biceps the other day and I wasn't horrendously upset by them. 111 kilos last night. Could do with a tan. Still got glute striations. It's coming. No, it is. Slowly but surely. Would you ever do the carnivore diet, Mitch? No. Why not? The carnivore diet? Yeah. I love carbs too much. I'd get like two meals deep and I'm like, nah, I could do some rice. It is, it's ideal for like fully resetting insulin sensitivity. It's like the textbook F45, four week cut. Shout out the Code Orge gang. Cause the Code Orge gang came in heavy for the after pay sale, after pay day sale. After pay day sale? Yeah. They came in heavy. And no, in all seriousness, like I had, I think almost, almost 50, 50 like code uses in the span of like five days or something like that. I was like, I didn't know that many people knew me, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, I was, I was like pleasantly surprised. Very pleasantly surprised. And honestly, I'm just happy. I'm just happy that everyone was able to save some money on some of the greatest supplements in Australia. I don't have a singlet today. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. say we're gonna do smith machine potentially i might get lucas to spot the smith machine i'd love to do the life fitness incline press today 
I'd love to do that. Rip the gym pin out for the pec deck, incline press, light fitness press, and then arms. I'm in two minds because on one hand, training is boring as fuck. But like, from a bodybuilding standpoint, right? It's boring as fuck. So I want to like do something fresh and exciting and cool, but that's not progressive. So I'm like, what do I do about it? Just keep doing what feels right, you know? Whatever feels right, just do it. From the workshop. It looks good. You look a lot bigger than 97 kilos. I found the hack to getting big. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with training. It has everything to do with granola bars and oat bars and muesli bars. When I tell you that if you just eat like six muesli bars or six granola bars throughout the day, there's like an extra thousand calories. Just in between meals, just whoop. Say it's what? 150 calories a bar for like a granola bar or something like that. Six of those bad boys, go on, see you later. Thousand KKs, go on. What am I on food wise? I just had a bump up actually. Should we step on the scales? I'll definitely, if like, I'm, I'm fully kidding. I've also got five kilo dumbbells in my pockets. Bang. Fat boy, fat boy slim. If you go backwards on the treadmill, you actually, um, it actually undoes the cardio that you've done. So if you've got to do 45 minutes of cardio and 20 of those minutes are done backwards, you've actually got to do 65 minutes of cardio. So if you walk backwards on the treadmill, you actually put on weight. Did you know that? It reverses your metabolism. So all you've been doing lately is <laughs> You piece of shit. Ballad. So I'm going to like do a couple of sets here with the gym pin plus the 20. I reckon we can do two plates extra on this, which I've never touched before. No way. I'll do like three or four reps here. And then we'll add another plate and see how that goes. Piss. Fucking piss. I don't know why I feel weirdly strong today. Weirdly strong. pretty daunting when you think about it, really. Yeah, that felt really light. I don't want to add a third plate though. For a full stack plus 40 kilos. Yeah. Perfect. Filmed it. So you know it's legit. Now I gotta go put these somewhere. People that do this exercise, the fuck are you doing? That's all I'm gonna say. I've made a grave mistake not bringing another shirt. Grave mistake. Do I want yours? You would literally give me the shirt off your back too, you would. Um, no, nah, I reckon I might go buy a Muscle City shirt or singlet or something like that. Pec deck, full stack, gym pin, 220 plates. Ew, for, for 10. Com comfortably. Are you okay? No. I'm gonna try incline press four plays today. Easy. Are you, what are you doing? Are you, spot, uh, are you finishing or? Movements. Okay. I might need someone to save my life. Easy as fuck. And this is what I was saying about like when you put your side back, or when you put your compound movement to the start of the workout and you bury yourself, you can't get yourself up for exercises three, four, and five. Yeah, exactly. But if you do three, four, and five, and then G yourself up for a compound, yep. you'd be surprised what kind of numbers you can hit. So in terms of total volume across the entire session, if you do a lot of your accessory work first and then your compound work, especially when you're working up to five, six, seven plates on something, yeah. you, can, you can dive into that and fucking send it, but you've already done your ancillary work. And the total volume just goes through the fucking roof. All right, I might come grab you if I need a spot for the Smith. Yeah, All right, big bet. Better ball. Uh, rep ranges. 
Any intensive players? Uh, I would do, wait, seated leg curl? So, sorry, lying leg curl. Uh, seated. Seated leg curl. I would do a rest pause set. Okay. So rest I would, the rest pause? yeah, and I would get up and lengthen in between. So hit like 15 reps, yep. get up and sit in a lengthened position, yep. jump back in the machine, try and hit it for like 10 to 12, get up, lengthen position, Good. get back in, and you want like six to eight with some like partials, and then you're <laughs> done. Cool. Easy. I was confused because I thought I put 20s on and I felt like there was no weight on the bar. So, so I did an incline barbell 150 for like four plus two. And then the week after I did 160 for six on this. I feel much better today and I don't know why. So we'll see. Did I tell you I threw up mid-session on Saturday? Yeah, Tom like, you know what Tom's like in terms of like taking your training to another level? He came over, he was training push your arms or something Saturday afternoon, Saturday night we were training legs and he came over. I just finished like two and a half plate Bulgarian split squat with a heel elevator in here. And he like took one look at me and he's like, go home, like you're not okay. I was white, white as a ghost. I was like, white as a ghost. And I was like, oh no, I'll just go to the bathroom and like recenter myself, like get myself good. Yak, yak everywhere. I can't remember a time that I've ever thrown up from training ever in my life. And I sent this shit. So I was having like a pretty, not a bad mental health day. I was kind of just like riding the waves. And uh, right before we came to the gym, I was thinking to myself, I need to grow my legs. It's, it's a non-negotiable. For me to be competitive, for me to make the Olympia stage, I need to grow my legs. So I came to the gym with the mentality and the mindset of, if I don't grow my legs in this, this session right now, I'm quitting bodybuilding. And that's what happened. <laughs> If I had a gun to my head and someone was like, train legs today, I probably could, but they're still not recovered. And we did it Saturday. It was, yeah, it was brutal, man. It was so brutal. I'm honestly just procrastinating to not do this set. Okay, come on. There you go. Good. <coughs> Move it. I'm with you. Move come it. on. Move it. Move it. Let's go. <coughs> you were driving up. Ooh, Good. Go again. Go again. Come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. Press. 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 Up. Press. 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 That'll do. That's heavy. You said I can't. That's <laughs> what you said. I can't. <laughs> What do you reckon? Lucas is gonna be the best spotter I've ever seen in my life. Why? He's so well. He does spot yeah. very well. Um, in all seriousness, I think the reason why my strength is the way that it is today is my food quality is supremely better. So rather than just hitting macros for the sake of hitting macros or like hitting calories for the sake of hitting calories, my meal prep's been on point. My sleep's been as good as you can expect it to be. I'm gonna look into getting a CPAP. A, a CPAP, oh, yeah. like a like a sleeping thing. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. Like I don't have sleep apnea yet, but like the benefits from the quality of sleep that you get from a CPAP, like looking at other bodybuilders and the way that they recover and use one of those. So I just want to be Bane, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I track my sleep just with my Apple Watch. Like it's probably not accurate, but it's consistent. Yeah. It's yeah. And yeah, I, I find myself waking up so many times during the night that I ideally would love to only get up once, maybe twice to pee, like if that's the case. But if my sleep quality can be amplified, my recovery is gonna go through the roof. People don't understand how much sleep plays such a big role in, in recovery. Um, but yeah, my food quality sources, my hydration has been so much better. This four plates is crazy. I've never touched four plates on a Smith ever in my life. Hmm. I didn't expect to do much better than that. Never touching that weight ever before. Three plates for eight to ten. I think it's pretty comfortable.
Hold at it. Not wrong. I have probably the best chest contractions I've ever had in my life right now. Every single rep then was like all chest and no doubt. It was fucking perfect. Do you know what I just did just then? I just pulled focus with my own vision. Like that's how much I'm thinking cognitively about pulling focus because I was looking at the mirror which means I was focused on the mirror and this pole was out of vision, like out of focus. And then I pulled focus with my own eyes to concentrate on that. You live in rent free in my brain. What do I think about? I think about the stretch and then how short I can get my tricep contraction. So I'm not even thinking about moving the weight. I'm thinking from an anatomical standpoint, how my triceps are moving, how my triceps are lengthening and how my triceps are contracting and making sure that I imitate the best way possible, every rep. That's what I'm thinking about. Cramping. Oh. oh no. Still waiting on that Manscaped sponsorship. Feel good, feel great. I was really happy with today's session. Never touched four plates on a Smith machine before. Move that for a few, move three plates for a few. Really good session. Feel like everything's clicking now. PEDs are slowly starting to go in. Food's increasing. Body weight's increasing. Body fat percentage still looks like it's in a really good spot. So I feel like we're, um, feel like we're moving in the right direction. So, you all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe.
and we'll see you in the next one.